Gather round children, today I'm going to tell you a Vietnamese fairy tale, about the man on the moon. Once upon a time there was a woodcutter named Pebbles. One day, he goes into the deepest of woods to earn a living. When he came across a small river, he saw a cave full of baby tigers. He immediately ran at them, swinging his axe and killing them instantly. Right at that moment, the mother tiger comes back. Hearing a loud roar behind him, Pebbles runs to the nearest tree and climbs up to the top. Looking down from the top, Pebbles sees the tiger mourning for her dead cubs. But shortly after, she walks to a nearby tree, chew up some leaves, and feed them to her children. To Pebbles' astonishment, the cubs wiggle their tails back to life again. Pebbles sits on the tree for a while, and when the tigers finally leave, he jumps back down and dig up the magical tree. On his way home, Pebbles comes across a dead homeless man in the streets. Pebbles takes some leaves from the tree and feed them to the homeless man. The hobo immediately jumps up to life. Seeing the weird tree, the man asks, what's up with the tree? Pebbles truthfully tells him of what he'd just been through. The old man, after hearing the story, shouted. Holy fucking shit that's the reincarnation plant 7777. The old man then proceeds to tell Pebbles to take care of the plant, not to water it with dirty water, and then he said no and left. Pebbles goes back home, always listening to the old man's advice, watering the plant with only the clearest water from his well. Ever since that day, Pebbles saves hundreds of lives. As soon as someone takes their last breath, Pebbles uses his magical plant to save them. One day, Pebbles comes across a dead dog in the streets. Pebbles takes the plant to save the dog. The dog comes and runs around Pebbles with joy. Since then, Pebbles has a new best friend. On another occasion, a rich old man comes to Pebbles asking for his help, to save his daughter who drowned in the nearby river. Shortly after, the girl wakes up with a smile on her face, seeing her savior, she asks to marry him. The old man happily gives their blessings. After living together for a while, one day, when Pebbles goes out for errands, some invaders invade Pebbles' house. Knowing Pebbles has a magical tree, they kill Pebbles' wife, but not only that, they take out her organs, and throw them into a river. When Pebbles comes back, his wife's been long gone. He uses many leaves, but they wouldn't work, because she has no organs left. Seeing his own crying and shouting, the dog asks to donate his own organs for Pebbles' wife. After thinking for a while, Pebbles decides to replace his dog's organs with his wife's. His wife goes back to life as beautiful as before. Having sympathy for the dog, Pebbles tries to make organs out of clay for the dog, and it works. Wife and husband, pet and owner, they all live as happily as before. But since that day, Pebbles' wife has a change in her mental. She now suffers from dementia, putting Pebbles in difficult situations. He tells his wife, do not pee near my tree, you hear me? But she wouldn't listen. One day, when Pebbles out, his wife pees right on his magical tree. As soon as she does, the tree suddenly lifts from the ground and floats upwards to the sky. Right at that moment, Pebbles comes back. He runs right at the tree, swings his axe at the tree and tries to pull it back. But the tree keeps flying up, and Pebbles wouldn't let go of the tree. So he just keeps flying up to the moon with it. And that's the story of Pebbles, the man on the moon.